All right, so now we're on page 34. A cube is a volume of 27 cubic meters. Find the length of each cube. So basically what they're telling you is, hey, the volume is 20, whoops, not 23, 27 meters cube. You need to find what number times that, times that, times that equals 27. Now, some of you might know off the top of your head, and, and hey, this number times this number times this number is 27. What is it? Three. Three. Three times three is nine. Nine times three is 27. Is that how we should be doing all these? Is that going to be able to give us the, are we going to be able to know all of them by kind of guessing and checking no. different numbers? No. Could you find do them all the way? Yeah, you could. It will probably take you five times longer for a bunch of them. Now this one, you might have known like Justice known, you just know, knew it right away that it was three times three times three. But if I give you 64, how many of you know what number times itself times itself is 64 right away? Eight times eight. Nope. Eight times eight is 64. We are trying to figure out what number times what number oh. times what number is 64. So no, it is not eight. That right there is the number one reason why you should not just be guessing and checking or just assume that you know it like that. Because otherwise, when I say, so this is the cube root of 64. Otherwise, when I say, what's the cube root of 27? Some of you are gonna write down three. Some of you are gonna write down nine because you're like, hey, nine and three both go in there. Now three is the right answer, but not because it's three times nine. It's the right answer because three times three times three equals 27. So you have to break it down. So for 27, it would be breaking it down to three and nine and three and three. And you, need, you are looking for, just like how we did things before, you're looking for two different groupings. Now you're looking for three different groupings. Well, guess what? There's only three different groups, so we're good. For 64 then, now it does break down into eight and eight at first, like he said. Next, it breaks down into four and four. Nope. Two. Four and two. Four times four is 16. 16. Four plus four is eight. We are not doing addition. We are doing multiplication. Four times two again. Four times two again. Two and two. Two and two. Now, can I circle three different groups of numbers that will have the same thing inside them? Yes. Yeah, what is, what's gonna be inside each group? Four. Not four, there's no fours up here anymore. Yeah? Twos. What, what do you mean twos? Three twos over there, and then the three twos over there. All right, two times two times two, that means my answer is eight. No, but you have to do the other two times two, otherwise it doesn't well, you're the one who told me three twos. Well, I'm, I didn't finish what I was saying. Eight, then eight times eight is four. This is a cube root, so I'm looking for three groups that have the same thing inside them. So what am I circling? Each group has what inside it? Two. Can I say what? Two, two, two. Okay. Well, I've got three groups. No, you have to do the all. You have, you have to do six groups. No, you don't have six you groups. You have to do the other twos. Okay. I don't have three groups anymore. It still makes it the right answer. No, it does not. The cube root of 64 is not two. Shit. Is not two. What is inside each of those groups? Silas? You have to circle two twos and two twos and two twos. Two twos and two twos and two twos. I'm not talking about the dance, the dancing that you might be doing in your free time, Carson. I'm talking about, look, one group, two numbers in. One group, two numbers in. One group, two numbers in. Therefore, there's three groups of two times two. So the cubed root of 64 is what? Four. Four. Can you check your work? Absolutely, you can. Four times four times four. Well, four times four is 16. 16 times four, you can go ahead and check it. It's 64. Yeah? Oh, no, I'm just giving a thumbs up because I, oh, okay. I, I did 16. All right, guided practice. Do the same thing where you guys are breaking them down. We're doing 216, 343, and 1,000. Go. Give you guys three minutes. See how far you can get in three minutes.
picking them up the same way we broke up that one. Okay. Go do the other one on your paper. You got one done? Okay, well, the next person who's got one done on paper, they can come up and do it on the board for me. Gotta get it, have it done on paper first. What should you be using? Your brain. Your brain, the numbers that you already know. Two. You will know what number goes into 216 automatically. Two. 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 Two and 108. That should be the first thing. Then you break 108. Four. Four times two and 108. Four times two is eight. It should be 108. Because eight times two is 16. I'm mixed up. I said, my division says that it can go in there two or eight times. Think about it. 200 is only 8 less than this. 208 times that's going to give you 416. And what is this going on down here? 2 goes into 2, goes into two, two times? 10. No, 2 goes into 21 20 times. Mm, no, it doesn't. I'm, oh, that's supposed to be a 10. Oh, well, then this should be 108, and that should be exactly what I told you it should be. Oh, oh, oh. oh 100. Yes, it is. Do unicorns are horses? Are they a horse and they have hair on them? Yeah, but it's like. Yeah. This is not fair. He uses planner. Yep. yep. As many digits as you want. Um, is there planner? No, you should not be using your planner for this. Um, you absolutely need to. You can use it to check something. You should not be using it to look for the answer for something. So, Silas did 12 times 18 based on what he found in his planner. That was not my instruction. If you know, if you're like, hey, I think 12 times 18 is 216, and you know your multiplication tables that well, 
And you want to check in your planner, you can use it to check, but you shouldn't be looking for it in the first place. I don't know it. I don't have to guess what it is. Power outage. Well, that's fine. Oh, Silas, what do you do? Nothing. Silas and Charter and Dwarf. Okay, Silas, you can go back to your desk. Wait, it's going to take a while for it to work. Oh, no. Because and it's going back on, it's going to take a while for it to reboot all the way. All right, so I'm going to explain that. You guys need to write this down in your books. So 216, I'll uh, explain it like Silas was doing it or how I would have you do it. So Silas did 12 and 18. I would go 2 and 108 and break 108 down into what? 2 and? Oh, 2 and 104. No, 2 and. Yeah. 108 breaks down to 2 and. 2, it breaks down to 2 and. No, I asked if you knew the answer. Yes? 2 and 54. 2 and 54. 54 breaks down to 2 and. Two and fifty four breaks down to two and two and twenty seven. Twenty seven breaks down into three. No, and three and three and one. Three times what is twenty seven? Seven. No, three. Three times seven is twenty. Twenty-one. We're looking for twenty-nine. Three times what oh, is twenty-nine? Oh, twenty-one. We just did this, guys. You guys should know your multiplication tables. Twenty-seven divided by three is nine. Nine divided by three is three. So you should have three, 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 and two, two, two. If you've got three twos and three threes, then every time you combine one of those together, you'll have a set of three what? Three sixes, so 216 is six times six times six. The last number was 349, I believe. Um, 343? Yeah. And anybody figure out the answer to it? No, no, I was working on it, but then they scared me. <laughs> There's a reason that this one was a little bit more challenging for everyone. Okay, well, that's not working for me. I can take two out of it. What do you want to The number that goes in to 343. I bet you Frank can't even tell you. Frank, what's the cube root of 343? 623. Nah, see, he's not even trying to answer. It's nine. Nope. No, I'm just kidding. I have no idea. What is the weird number that is hard to find multiplication tables for? 246. It's not 46. 242, like we said. What is the weird number? 1 through one through 10. What's the weird number that has weird stuff going into it? Oh, 5. Nope. No, 1. That's, Let's go three. just a second. So there is the 3. Uh, Evan asked a good question. David and Cesar, that's one. What? Yeah, I can hear you guys right here. Volume went up in the back. In the back. That was Kian. I literally just looked at you two talking to each other and heard both of you talk while I was looking at you. So <laughs> don't tell me that was someone else. I heard Shazam. Wait, did you know it's on mouse? It's on mouse again. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. So this is 343. We know one is out, two is out, four is out, six is out, eight is out. Why are all those out? Because they have, they're even. They're all even. This is an odd number. You know that, that that's not going to work then. Um, five is out. Why? Yeah, let's check this rule then. Three plus four plus three. Evan had a good idea. Three plus four is? Seven. Plus three is? Ten. Is three going to this number? No. Nope. If three is out, nine. all we have left is seven and nine. nine. If three doesn't go in, nine. can nine go in? Yes. No. Nope, it's not going in either. Nine. Seven is the only thing we have left. What's seven times seven? Um, 49. Let's just check. 49 times seven, seven times nine is? Um, 63. 63. Seven times four is? 28. Plus six? 34. 
What? <gasps> there you go. Process of elimination. <laughs> Process of elimination. You should be going through. If you if you absolutely can't figure out any number that goes in there, look through what well, the obvious things. Is it even? If it is, use a two. If you're going through and you're like, hey, I can't find stuff, try the three trick. Three plus four plus three. Because if three plus four plus three is a number that you can divide by three, automatically you know that you can divide by three in long division and get the answer. If that doesn't work either, try sevens, see what happens. This is really kind of a guess and check. We actually had to do seven times seven times seven ourselves and then check it to get the answer. It's a last resort. That's what sevens all, all often are. They're a last resort, but that's how it works. What? Seven. What about seven? Ten. So, um, can, if you didn't, if you didn't know off the top of your head, forty-nine times seven. No one does. Then could you divide? Uh, do the um, like, could you go seven divided by uh, seven divided by three forty-three? You mean three forty-three divided by seven? Well, yeah. Uh, you could do that. I think it's going to take you the same amount of time. It's actually going to take you longer to do three forty-three divided by sorry seven. Mm -hmm. And then you would have to make sure you get 49, and then you know the square root of 49, or you should know the square root of 49 is 7, so then you know 7, 7, 7, the answer is going to work. So you got, you can do 7 times 7, 49, 49 times 7 is 343. If you do this way and do it the other way around, and then you're like, hey, I don't need to find the square root of 49 because I know it's 7, then you could do that and it would work too. Either one of them is fine, as long as you show your work. Your work. Your work. So if you show the process of the elimination thingy and you still said that it was seven times seven, you, you like say yes because there's only one left? No, because the other option, if it's not one of these, well, one, maybe it is nine and you, you just don't know, but you need to actually show your work to have it. So you can't just say, hey, I'm gonna guess. The other option is it could be 11 or 12, or it could be even a higher number. So if you go all these, you try seven, it's still not, and seven still doesn't go into it. I start trying 11, that's a prime number. 13, that's a prime number. 17, that's a prime number. 19, that's a prime number. So why can't All of those it could go into. What, what about 10, why can't it be 10? It ends in three. Oh, never mind. I understand. Yeah. Um, all right. The last set, last part, bottom of page 35, then you guys can start your assignment. We're doing order of operations. You guys, these should look familiar, yes? Pendas. No. P stands for? Four the feet. You should be writing these down. E stands for? Exponents. M, st M and D stand for? Multiplying division. Multiplication and division, but they have to be left to right. right. And then addition and subtraction, but they have to be left to right. You should be writing this down. Peter E. Well, Pem Dis. M and D, it could be Ped Ped M. Ped 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 Masa. It could be that. But all multiplication division, addition, subtraction have to be left to right. Have to have to have to be left to right. So if you see addition and subtraction, you see multiplication and division, but division comes first going left to right, and then you do division first. If subtraction comes first going left to right, then you do subtraction first. Examples. So if I have three squared plus four squared, what is the first thing I gotta do? Yep. So you have to do your exponents. Yep. So you have to get that down. Three squared is? It's uh, nine. Nine. So now I have nine plus four squared. What do I do? Four squared is 16. Why do I do four squared first? Because it's going to be weird if I don't do it first. No, it's not weird. It's because. Left to right. Nope. I Le if I do left to right, then I would do nine plus four and then squared.